dear viewers welcome to advice city nepal today in this video you will learn controlling an object through the buttons in geogebra for example move a triangle clicking the move button and stop triangle movement now move again so stop in doing so you will also learn creating the length of movement by the slider bar and another part of this movement is the direction see how you can control the change the direction and movement movement again change the direction move so, so you will learn four things let's have a look for this purpose let's start with a new file go to file menu and click new and you need to create a triangle at the first when the triangle is created then create a slider button to indicate the length start from 0 to 10 for the learning purpose you can change it to any number later as for your need and now again go to the lines and take a line with uh, the length given length so for example this is a line with the length you can check here the slider is d so you can use the sliders name d and click ok and the slider is prepared and this will move see this way so you can change the direction of the slider and I can click so this is how the slider is ready now you have to create a vector with the same length as the slider uh, this means here is a vector go to vector go to vector and click from here to here exactly match the points of that line segment now check the moment now vector also moves the triangle can be of any size or shape you can check this now we are going to use the concept of translation we are going to translate this triangle with this vector now the translation is ready check the function triangle is moving now you are done previously created triangle can be hidden so you can simply click on the show button for that purpose now see only one triangle is left however there are other points so you need to hide those points as well so click on this and you can simply uh, double click on these points then all those will be hidden now the original triangle is hidden and now you can see triangle is moving so this is how you can create a moving triangle now you can change the direction and see change the direction move the slider change the direction move the slider you can move the slider and uh, you can also change the original uh, place of this control uh, indicator now one more thing is left it is about creating the button to create control button find the button in the menu and click on the screen working area give the name start then write as dart start animation true start animation true now click and stop start animation 
false okay so this is how you can create two buttons start and stop they are I think fixed not don't pin them don't fix them so that it will be moved don't pin don't fix a start and a stop let's see whether the button works or not works start did not work so right click on this go to setting and change the script this is not the true this is the D so animate the D start animation D this means this D okay now start yes now it's working now stop stop is already working start stop now this is going back if you want to control that as well then you have another way you click on this and go to setting and it is a repeat oscillation if you make it only increasing now uh, its effect will be different you can check it start so it goes and goes and it stops from the beginning again see yes. this is the way you can now stop change direction start stop uh, change length or direction and start so for the decoration and other things you can do as you like thank you very much for watching